type says the group's mission is to promote healthy living and lifestyles among black men. Well, that was enough to motivate a group of Memphians to join this national movement. Black Men Run is this week's white spot. It's a risk but sunny January morning, and for this group, it's the perfect setting for a run. These are members of Memphis's chapter of Black Men Run. This group allows fellowship and accountability for us. Black Men Run is a national organization, 25 chapters in 15 states and the District of Columbia. Roland Woodson Jr. started the chapter in Memphis last August. He says running changed his body in ways the gym didn't. I was suffering from migraines. My back was hurting. I just wasn't physically fit, and I wasn't able to really play uh, with my sons. Roland has lost 20 pounds since last August, and he isn't the only runner to see major improvement in his physique and health. Running and cycling and sports have helped me get off of all my diabetic medicines. Jose lost 150 pounds over two years. He says this group motivates him to be better and to stay on course. I went from being out of breath just going to the mailbox now to running. I've ran my fourth marathon last weekend. Fitness level doesn't matter with this group. If you're motivated and you have a desire, you're welcome to run. I was never the biggest sports fan. I was never the best athlete. But here I'm one of the top runners. No brothers are left behind. So as we run, if you're left behind, we literally come back and pick you up. That camaraderie brings these men together at least twice a week for their runs. Roland says he and several of the guys do Insanity and B90X together. It's a brotherhood and they welcome any man who wants to improve his health to join them. Uh, the National Organization was actually started by a former Memphian who lives in Atlanta now. If you'd like to get more information about Black Men Run, check out our on-air section of WREG.com. And of course, if you have an idea for Brides by Contact, you should send me an email, a tweet, or a message on Facebook. These guys run a couple of times a week. They run downtown. They meet out at Shelby Farms on Saturday mornings. All that stuff's on their website. But they are just an exciting group of guys. I met with them earlier this week. It was chilly out. They were just uh -huh. ready to go. Lots of smiles and already plenty of success stories. Yes. 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 He says all he takes now is vitamins. And I don't know if you recognize him, but we've seen Jose on our station many times. He actually does the Toys for Tats during Christmas, where he gives free tattoos to people who donate toys and food during the holidays. This guy's lost. I didn't even know him when I saw him. I was embarrassed. He's like, Marco has no clue why I am. I'm like, I should know you, shouldn't I? <laughs> hey, that's a good thing. You know, he like, was fantastic, and he's very excited. I know all of that group size is getting ready to expand. <laughs> In the Mid-South, I hope you've remembered all of your...